Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with a very unusual dish. Lamb braised with root beer and toasted sesame seeds. This dish I saw Richard Blaze make in Aspen at a demo. And uh, it tasted really great. He did it on lamb ribs. By the way, served it with coleslaw ice cream. There he is with the liquid nitrogen, freezing it. I didn't have that, so I'm just making the, the lamb part. And I'm not using ribs. I'm using lamb shoulder chops. Really nice cut. Lots of connective tissue. Tons of flavor. Really nice. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our Dutch oven. All right, on medium-high heat and just a little bit of oil. And we're going to brown those off. Now, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to do this. All right, I do it just by instinct, just by reflex, just by muscle memory. Because in general, when you braise, you always want to brown the meat first. But this is such a rich, intense dish that you know i don't even know of how much that does all right so brown those really well on both sides and then we're going to take it out of the pan reserve it on a plate and i'm going to deglaze that dutch oven with one bottle of nice root beer i'm using henry weinhardt i figured hey they make beer they must make good root beer and it had sassafras in it as an ingredient so you know it's a good sign so anyway you're going to dump in one bottle of that some reduced sodium soy sauce some honey all right we're gonna add our mccormick toasted sesame seed which during the demo richard blaze said are better than toasting your own because they kind of toast these in like a big churning rotating roaster like coffee beans would be done in and he said they come out much better which makes sense because they roast slower and more evenly besides i burn sesame seeds every time i try to toast them so this works for me some smoked paprika some dried rosemary some chipotle pepper. Speaking of chipotle, you know I never saw Bobby Flay at the Aspen Food Wine? I never saw him. How's that possible? All right, so that's pretty much our braising liquid. We're going to return our lamb shoulder chops back in there. By the way, I know what you're thinking. Would this work with lamb shanks? Sure. All right, leg of lamb, maybe. I'm going to squeeze those in. I want to kind of get them evenly distributed. I'm going to pour over a half a cup of water just to give it a little extra liquid to braise in because this is going to cook a pretty long time. And that's it. We're going to cover that and we're going to put it in a preheated 325 degree oven for one and a half hours. And when it comes out, look at that color. It is just, just beautiful. Okay. So now what you want to do here, you want to make sure it's fork tender, which it was. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to leave in my braising liquid because we need to reduce this down to more of a glaze. So turn it on high. And you know the trick. When you turn something like this on high and it starts to bubble vigorously, all the fat is going to be pushed to the middle and it makes it very easy to skim. See that? All right, so skim off the fat or most of it. And when it kind of reduces by about half, it's only going to take about 10 minutes. All right, we can turn that to low, and we can put our lamb back in. And we have this beautiful glaze. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. And the taste, just really, really spectacular. All right, so toss the lamb back in there. And you can just keep that on low until you're ready to serve. And to serve, not very hard. I'm going to put that on a platter. I'm going to spoon over that just amazing root beer glaze. The toasted sesame in there, and that root beer just... Great combination. Sprinkle over some chopped green onions. Very important. You might think, hey, that's just a garnish. It is, but that little bit of crisp, oniony sharpness really cuts through that rich lamb and sweet, sticky, nutty sauce. Really important. Give it a little dusting of some more toasted sesame. That is a great, very unusual braised dish. Thank you, former Top Chef contestant Richard Blaze. Great recipe. If you have liquid nitrogen, go ahead and make up some coleslaw ice cream. In fact, I'm going to figure out how to do that without liquid nitrogen, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. Go to the site. All the ingredients are there. Very easy, simple dish. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.